Hello, YouTube. It's your boy Jerry from Elon Friends. We got another video, another movie review today, and the movie is called Dangerous Lies. So, if you guys don't know, this is one of the trending topics of movie categories in Netflix right now. It is also um, a, a nice cast, a nice, you know, setup. We got Camila Mendez, which is Veronica from Riverdale. And you got Sasha Alexander, which is, she's one of the agents from NCIS Los Angeles. So if you know any, if you watch NCIS or if you watch Riverdale, you guys know who I'm talking about. And I'm definitely guessing you guys want to watch the movie as well. So you want to give the- What's the movie about? Bowl of Free. You want to do it? Okay, anyways. Uh, oh, you want me to tell them what the movie about? Are you? Okay, go ahead. The go movie's ahead. about this couple that get in a bunch of unfortunate events is pretty much what the movie's about without giving away too much. Dang, that's it? Well, I don't want to give away too much, so that's how. There's a movie where there's a bunch of plot twists um, after plot twists well, that I'm happen. A, I'm going to at least give them a little something. You got to give them a little something. Are you give them a little something. What's yours? So, so it's, I would call it a thriller movie. It's, um, it has a lot of plot twists. That's exactly why I enjoy this movie. But it's literally uh, kind of like a thriller mystery of a caregiver that is, you know, she lost her job, whatever. And she had, she was hired to be a caregiver for this old man. This old man happened to be, you know, very wealthy but nobody knew about it until like later on. And then, you know, the couple was going through a lot of unemployment and a lot of financial issues. They were newly married, young college, you know, age. And as soon as the, you know, the old man died, that they got to take care of, a lot of mystery stuff happens in the house around them. And it just gets worse and darker and worse and darker, and worse and darker. And plot twist, plot twist, and yeah. So you enjoyed the movie? Mm. <laughs> that doesn't seem positive. Okay, I I love I, I like the movie, but I feel they kind of like copyright from the movie Knives Out. I kind of feel like it was just a copyright from Knives Out. The same vibes. The same storyline, the same plot twist. I don't know. It just kind of feel like it was copyrighted from Knives Out. If you haven't watched Knives Out, then you don't know what I'm talking about. But if you have, you have. You know? In my opinion, Typical the movie... movie. Hmm? I said it's a good movie. I enjoyed it. But I feel like it was copyrighted from another movie. In uh, my opinion, this movie feels like a TV movie. I mean, I think they produced it as a TV movie because you saw the movie was rated... Uh, 14 tv 14 it wasn't rated like pg or pg 13 yeah. so right yeah. there you're like okay so it's a tv movie production type right. deal i then also it felt like a lifetime movie if you ever watched a lifetime movie on TV. <laughs> yeah, that's what true. it felt like <laughs> it felt like i was watching a lifetime movie like like i said that one actor is in it like that one act um sasha alexander she from and she's from ncis so she's like a long-term tv show that's been going on for like 10 years. You can already tell if she's on TV, like in a movie. She doesn't, I don't think she ever came out of a movie. This is probably her first movie. And they already gave out the vibe that it's like a TV. She's like been in a, a few movies. Yeah. I, I've really? seen her in a few. Yeah. She was in Office Party and she was in Dragon Ball, but we won't talk about that horrible movie. Yeah, that, that's trash. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, honestly, I could. This is not a movie you watch in movie theaters, but it, oh, I Oh, no, enjoy no, it. not at all. It's one of those movies where it's premiering on Lifetime TV at 8 p.m. You don't got nothing else to do. You watch it. It feels like this movie was a Lifetime movie that they didn't have nowhere to put it on the schedule. So it was like, hey, Netflix, you want our movie? It got a couple bigger actors than what we used to get for Lifetime movies. And it's like, sure. And like, let's be honest. The only reason why this movie is on the top of like the 10 on Netflix right now is because of Camilla. If she wasn't, Camilla in, the, Fenders, if she wasn't in the movie, would you watch it? I wouldn't have watched it no, if she wasn't no, in there. <laughs> no. I don't know anybody else, bro. 
Okay, but like, I think the reason they made this movie is to have Camila Mendes' career to make more of a pride to make, you know, come out as an independent artist itself. Yeah, she's not really in much besides uh, Riverdale. Yeah, like if you actually look at her career-wise, Riverdale is the only big thing that has for her right now. And this movie is kind of just to follow up with her on a like an individual scale. And like she was the main character. And she, I mean, I'm going to lie, she was a main character and outside of Riverdale, she did good for acting, you know. She looked very natural when she was acting. You know, nowadays, it's just kind of like you got a repeating, um, you know, like the basic blonde girl, you know, who always gets scared or something going on. She's tripping, tripping over herself and all that stuff. It looks really fake, the acting. But Camila Mendes made it look very natural. And everything that she does in this movie, you know, like it will get you off guard because you're not expecting it to happen, you know. You're expecting to watch this average movie on Netflix and then, pound like out of nowhere. And that's what I like about Camila Mendes. Doing, I think she, she was the one that made the movie. You know what? You are probably right. She probably was like a producer or something. No, I'm talking about like she made the movie like worth watching. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but then oh, another thing is like, I will say I kind of like the plot twist, but it was kind of very convoluted. I'll tell you that right now. Like it was a very convoluted plot twist for a movie of this scale. I was like, yeah. kind of, it was a lot. He was like, ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> This is a lot for that. Yeah. yeah, it's not what you expect it in. Like they try to lead you one direction and it, it goes a whole different direction. You're like, it's probably gonna go this direction. And it comes up with a whole direction you ne- never even thought of because it's so convoluted. You're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, uh, okay. Hey, That's the movie. it's okay. Let's, let's go for it. <laughs> yeah, it's not a bad movie, but it's not a great movie. It's, it's, it's an okay movie. It's a, I'm gonna watch it's not something I would pay to watch at a movie theater. I wouldn't oh, pay. No. I wouldn't give a movie ticket to this. You know, Mm-mm. it's one of those movies you watch on Lifetime on uh, Sunday morning, and you watch, and you're like, "Wow, that's crazy," and you forget about it. Yeah. Like the only reason people gonna still talk about this movie is because of Camilla. She wasn't in this movie. Exactly. Just because of Veronica from Riverdale. That's literally yeah. If she wasn't in this movie, it wouldn't be a thing, really. I don't think yeah. anybody can watch it. Unless you watch the NCIS, you would know the, you know, the other people. But other than that, I mean, it actually did give an NCIS vibe. It gave a lot of, like, Criminal Minds vibe to it as well. And, you know, it brought me, like, flashbacks to my childhood because this is pretty weird, but I was watching NCIS since I was in middle school, you know. <laughs> but um, so I've been keeping over for a long, long time. But Parker. anyways, <laughs> I don't know. I just, I just like criminal TV shows. But anyways, so me personally, I give it two thumbs up, and from zero to ten, I guess I rated a six. Yeah, I ra- rated a six too. Like, if you're a fan of Camilla, watch this movie. If you're not really a fan of her, uh, yeah, watch, watch something else. <laughs> <laughs> Don't waste your time. Go back, watch Extraction or Code Eight. Yeah, but that's all I gotta say. <laughs> you got yeah. any last words? Nope. Peace out. Well, stay home, wash your hands, cover your mouth and nose.